Okay, hi guys, and welcome to a quick tutorial on Google Web Designer. Today, I'm going to show how you show you how you would do a normal click through on Web Designer as you would do in any normal website. I've actually been using Web Designer to create an iPad kiosk, and it's a very useful tool for doing simple kind of navigation things with audio and video and stuff. But just for this one, I'm going to show you how to do a basic navigation. So we're going to create a new file. Um, we are going to choose HTML with pages as the type because we want it to act just like a website. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call it Clicky. Uh, if I can spell Clicky, I'm going to call it Clicky. Uh, choose where you want to save it. You can give it a title, which will be the actual web page title. It doesn't really matter. We'll just call it Clicky again and we'll hit OK. And you are presented with your blank canvas. So. Um, we can change the size of the canvas in the properties down here. Um, let's, why not? Let's change it. Let's make it 1280 by 720, nice 69 canvas. Zoom out a little bit so we can see it. Not to go that. Okay, so this is our page one. So if you go down here to your little page pull up menu, you can see the name of this page is page one. I'm going to change that because well, it's just standard, call it index. Um, and we are going to take a look at this little menu here. There's a little plus sign down here that just adds a new page. This one deletes it. You can't delete the index because then you might as well not be doing anything. And you've got this one here that is a copy button. Um, I'll come back to that in a sec. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to create tap area so you've got components over here these are all the different things you can place in it um, I'm going to do a few more tutorials on a couple of little things in there but for the minute we just want to concentrate on this little fella so we'll drag that over here and there we end up with tap area so all that does is create an area that you can then attach some sort of event to um, as it is at the minute it's not going to be very exciting if we go to preview up here Click preview, you end up with not a lot. So, for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll give it color. So, let's make it red. So then, command and enter. Command and enter is preview. Preview, sorry. So, and if you hover the, over that, you get the little little clicky thing. It won't do anything at the minute because we haven't told it to do anything. Let's get rid of that. So, what we want to do is navigate between two pages. So, we're going to need another page. Let's go down here. So, this button here as I was talking about before that adds a new page this actually copies the current page and creates a new page so let's click that and we're gonna call this page two imaginatively so at the minute we have two identical pages where hey so we're gonna to have to decipher between these two so let's quick click on that and let's make it green so this one's now got a green square on it so page two green index red so in order to navigate, we are going to have to assign an event to this tap area. So if you go down here where your events are, you've got a little drop down menu. You can see all the events that you have in your current composition, uh, all the events on the current page or all the events on the current selection. Now this is selected. Obviously, I haven't made one yet, so we've got nothing there. Let's make an event. So the event is, as I say, I've been using this on an iPad, so normally I would go to touch and add a touch event but in this case we're going to do click because it will work if we don't use click so we're going to use click there we want to navigate to another page so you need to open the page deck you need to go to page page deck and this little drop down menu page id page two we're going to go to that one transition this is um just gives you a few different options you can slide fade or push we're going to go for fade because it looks nice you've even got easing because google's that good Easing it out. Uh, that doesn't apply to this particular transition, so we've got OK. And if we look down here in the events under selection, we now have an event attached to it. So let's go to page two. We're going to want to go back to the original page. So we're going to have to event, add an event to this one as well. So let's go down here. Let's hit the plus. Click again, page deck, and we want to go to page index. There it is. This time, let's pick a transition. Let's do a slidey transition. This is the time that it takes the transition. So let's do 500 milliseconds or half a second. Easing it out. 
And let's go from the right. Let's do it all Star Wars wipe. So that now has, as you can see, we're still in selection. So you've got that event attached to this. If we go to all, you'll get both of them because I've got one on that. And I've got one on the index. So if we now go to preview, command and enter, very useful. You have a little red square in your index, click that. And it turns green because it's going to page two. And then we hit that and we get an awesome right swipe. Look at that. It's going to look brill on an iPad. So that is how you do a basic click through. Obviously take it from there. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll be back with more tutorials in a bit.